Right, so complex numbers. So let's say we have an equation x squared plus 49 equals to 0 and you have to find the solutions. This will become x squared equals to minus 49 and x will be root of minus 49. Now up, at, up until AS level we used to say that no solutions because a square of any number is always positive. But now let's talk about an imaginary number. So there are two types of number, the real, real numbers and imaginary numbers. So imaginary number is root of minus 1 which is denoted by iota or i. So this will now become x equals to root of minus 1 times root of 49 and the solution is simply plus minus 7 iota. So we know what i equals to its root of minus 1. i squared is equals to minus 1 because simply my, uh, root of minus 1 into root of minus 1 roots get cancelled we get minus 1. Then i cube is again minus 1 into i this leads to minus i and again i to the power of 4 is minus i into plus i and the two uh, and when the, and, when, and when the two gets multiplied we get 1 and then the series continues again it repeats itself i to the power of 5 is again root of minus 1 i to the power of 6 is minus 1 i to the power of 7 is minus iota and i to the power of 8 is 1 so let's talk about complex numbers so a complex number denoted by z is simply a combination of a real number and an imaginary number. If I have to find the real part of this complex number, this will be a. If I have to find the imaginary part of this complex number, this will be b. And the thing with that, that we need to note is that a and b are real numbers. So a and b are real numbers in this complex number. So a very basic example, if we have z equals to 2 plus 7 iota, the real part of z will be 2 and the imaginary part of z will be 7. Now let's move forward to addition and subtraction, uh, uh, division multiplication of imaginary numbers. So let's first see how imaginary numbers are added. So if I have 7 iota plus 2 iota this will simply be 9 iota just like you would add any uh, any set of numbers if you have to subtract them let's say it's 7 iota minus 2 iota this will be 5 iota division let's say 7 iota upon 2 iota, i and i gets cancelled, 7 upon 2 is 3.5 and this will be your answer. And finally, multiplication. So if it's 7 iota times 2 iota, so 7 into 2 is 14 and i into i is i squared and we know what i squared is, so this will be minus 14. Now let's talk about uh, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication of complex numbers. Let's say you have two complex numbers. One is 2 plus i and the other complex number is 3 minus 4i. If you had to add them, so z plus w will be 2 plus 3 is 5 and 1 plus my i, I plus minus 4i minus 3i. Let's say you have to subtract them. Let's say it's z minus w. So z is 2 plus i minus w is 5 minus 3i. So 2 minus 5 minus 3. i plus 3 will be plus 4. Oh, wait, I think I... Wait, 
this was z plus w and not w this will be 3 minus 4 i yeah so 2 minus 3 will be minus 1 minus 1 plus 5 i to fix this okay then if you have to multiply let's say it's z times w this means that 2 plus iota times 3 minus 4 iota this will be 2 times 3 6 then minus 8 i then plus 3 i and minus 4 i squared which is 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 we get 10 minus 5 iota and finally if you have to divide the two so this will be 2 plus i upon 3 minus 4 i this is equals to a plus v i so there are two ways to divide one is using conjugates which uh, about which we'll talk in the next video right now if you have to solve this this will be 2 plus i equals to a plus b i times 3 minus 4 i and then you expand this you compare the two and you get your answer for the for and you get your answer a plus b i you get two you get you'll get two simultaneous equations and you solve the simultaneous equations to find the value of a um, and b so this is it for the introduction in the next video we'll talk about um, what conjugates are uh, and then we'll show how to divide using conjugates